These videos make it painfully obvious that I only wash my hair like once a week. Hi Katie, hi YouTube. It is Monday. It is the second to last Monday of my school semester, which seems like it should be farther away at the end of the semester, but it's not. And so next Monday I have my last internship day, and then next Tuesday I have my last day of classes and then finals, and then I'll be back in Texas again. You don't really know that I was in Texas last week, but I was. Katie, well, no, Katie knows because I saw her for like an hour. So at work, uh, sometimes I have to print flyers and sometimes I have to make those flyers. And today I spent 30 or 45 minutes, no, we spent like an hour and a half on this flyer. And then it misprinted 25 of them on this nice photocopy paper. You can't tell that there's 25, but there's 25 of this nice photocopy paper that we're out of now because of this mistake. Because there's supposed to be a nice fancy background behind all of this stuff. And there's not. The fancy background that I searched for for 45 minutes is not here. So I took them home because they were cluttering up my desk and now I've got 25 misprinted flyers for the band called Paper Lions, you probably don't know who they are. I'm not saying it to be hipster, I'm just saying it because you probably don't know who they are. If you do, I can give you one of these. Like, I mean, I've got a ton of, I have a ton of press stuff for them. So, if you want something, if you want one of these misprinted flyers, all you have to do is ask because I'm just going to throw them around Nashville and confuse people. Wait, I'm gonna fold it into a paper airplane, okay? And then you will receive it as a gift. This is thing number one that you can do with a misprinted flyer from work. Okay, it might not make it to you, but... Oh! It did! It's just farther away from you! These flyers are um, vaguely related to music, in the sense that they're a band. And what... This is just something I wanted to talk about. What most of you might not know about me is that if you give me an instrument to learn, I can pretty much get through all of like the beginner lessons of that instrument in like a day if you give me the time. And I've always been able to do it. That's just how instruments work for me. And this weekend, while I was in Kansas, my aunt brought over her cello and I proceeded to learn the first position of all the strings in like 30 minutes. And now I want a cello. But like the thing is, a couple years ago, after I learned like my fifth instrument, Mom said I wasn't allowed to come home with any more. And so now I just learn them at other people's houses and then I don't bring them home so Mom doesn't know. You're like that kid that picks up strays and just brings them into the house. But they're instruments. But they're instruments. But yeah, I just thought that was funny. I know Katie used to play clarinet. I remember that because I saw her at competitions a lot in middle school. Um, but that's really all I have to talk about because I need some- I need you guys to help me do something with these flyers. Because I really don't want to have to like shred them or something. I want to do something fun. And then I wanted to tell you about the cello because cellos are awesome. And that's it. The stress level of this week is actually kind of low compared to what I thought it was going to be because I was smart and I did things ahead of time. Yay. Katie, I'll see you tomorrow and then I'll see you on Thursday and then you'll see me on Friday. Goodbye.